Yo, what's going on guys? Ash top lane is a bit of a menace. I've been playing a lot of it lately and today I have some disco ash for you. We have cleanse with ghost and no, I'm not trolling. I actually think it's the best setup versus a Nasus. We also could have gone for phase rush versus Nasus. Auto W auto get away from his wither. His wither slows your attack speed by 75% level one and it slows your movement speed by a lot as well. So Nasus is generally considered a counter to auto attack style champions like an Irelia, an Ash or any AD carry in general. So, with Cleanse, we can help counter that. By going Swifties, we can help counter that. For our runes, the fleet speed up helps counter it. Plus, with Nasus E poke, especially if he chooses to go D ring level 1 and start E, he can poke you out. That's why you need fleet. Then we have Presence of Mind, Alacrid, Coup de Gras, Biscuits for more sustain, Approach. With Attack Speed, Movement Speed, and Health. Movement Speed is going to be good because Ash low base movement speed 325. I don't necessarily want to push early on, mainly just looking to get good CS and bully him when he shows up for our build we can build pretty much anything after tier 2 boots a bork would be really good or going for a 10% movement speed item like phantom would be good against their team generally speaking though you do want lots of shred off your first item so kraken or bork is typically what you're going to want to get so he's slowed here we're going to run this down as much as we can without taking too much damage going to bush to break minion aggro range minions are generally the minions that are going to be hurting you not really the melees gonna walk him all the way down here you just messed up big time he's ghosting into me he's just dead auto w auto he thought running towards me he could bully me away but i'm not gonna let him do that i'm gonna unmute all because this is pretty funny so as a ranged character we have a huge advantage obviously level one especially on something like an ash because of our slows so what he needs to do is just keep his health high and if he can keep his health high then it makes it to where he can take a gank from his jungler once his jungler does come up here. But if he dies or loses too much health, his jungler can't really do much for him. Auto Q auto. Go ahead and pop a biscuit here. I already have the wave crash, so there's nothing quite tethering me here at the moment. Ka's going to kill Shivana or he's going to try to come for me. I still have ghosts. I crashed wave, so I don't feel like staying. We can grab boots. Oh man, I probably should have stayed for Swifties. That kind of stinks. So yeah, Ka is over there. You know, I'll stay for Swifties here. I already warned the Shivana. Ka did a three camp invade. It's not worth dying for. She just needs to go for opposite side scuttle. She's being really, really greedy here. Imagine if I could buy Swifties. <clears throat> so yeah, when you find yourself in that situation, the enemy jungler invades you nine out of ten times. They're giving up CS to come into your jungle like Kha'Zix did. E3 camp cleared invaded. Shivana's still up a camp. All she has to do is immediately recognize, hey, this fight is to my disadvantage and go elsewhere. Either reset or just go opposite side scuttle. So this is the best play. Waves coming to me. It looks like I missed four melee creeps for my recall. As I crashed the wave. Auto Q reset. Q's a good auto reset, bonus damage, and attack speed. You do not want to miss CS just to hit this guy with autos. It's not really worth. Auto Q. Auto W auto. I canceled that auto there. That was a mistake to cancel it. Auto Q. It helps out a lot with uh, last hits. We are still up CS. I have Ghost and he doesn't, so we could actually run him down here. My auto range is so long that uh, I'll just Ghost, whatever. Try to break vision, auto Q. Oh, okay, Kha'Zix is here, that's fun. Got him with an auto. An auto to cut down the Kha'Zix now, auto W auto. That's kind of frustrating. Took a lot of damage from that. I think Kha'Zix is going to end up staying now. Uh, I'm not really looking to die is the thing. So I'll just reset. Or at least fake out the reset. I do technically have this wave in somewhat of a permafreeze from this position. It's actually best for me to back here. I almost... I wouldn't say almost killed them both, but wow. Kha'Zix looped all the way. He still hasn't even recalled yet. That's incredible. 
From here, Phantom, Kraken would be really good. Bork would be really good. I'm thinking Kraken, though. Kha's expelled him out so hard there. If he wasn't there, Nasus is dead 10 out of 10 times. He gave up Dragon for that, though. Lingering top for a minute and a half or so. That's going to cost him a bit. Got vision of him. With him crashing the wave, it's a full reset for Nasus. So now I can't really freeze Nasus out. I had a really nice potential freeze angle there. Not anymore. I think he's on. Wow, so they just took these instead. He hasn't even back jets the crazy thing. That's just so weird. Just hasn't even recalled. You rarely see that out of a uh, jungler like Kha'Zix to just never look to back. He might still be here. Yeah. Just run away. Get him with an auto. Got the Nasus Ghost. That's pretty good. That's my fleet auto, semi-wasted. It doesn't heal you very much if it's against a minion. You got me at that. We'll get a W. Auto Q. He's actually dead here, I think. Get him with an R. Auto. Auto. Yeah. Swifties are broken. I've been saying it for a long time. Swifties need a nerf. It's not ranged top laners OP. It's literally just... Swifties are too inexpensive for what they do. They do so freaking much. They're faster and cheaper. Uh, that's simply better, especially in a matchup where your opponent has a slow. We'll go for Noon Quiver here and head back to lane. Survived so much Kha'Zix crap, man. I, if you look at it, I think he's getting me four or five times. He's only gotten me once. He's down CS. He's down the dragon. They did get the grubs, which is kind of annoying, but can live with that I can survive more CS too we have taking a lot of damage here I need my fleet to come back up so I can auto him or his turret since Kha'Zix is only ganking me though it's making it kind of hard to push out I guess okay so Kha'Zix is mid now that's good information I need to get away from that nice auto W auto got the cannon auto Q I have such long auto range it's actually not easy for him to even wither me Yeah, there he goes. We just cleanse it. Since I have 600 auto range, he literally just can't even wither me. I can hit him. My, my auto range is 600. I think his wither range is 550. Or it's 500. It's not that long. Ash has the second highest base auto range in the game behind Caitlyn 650. Oh, that's fun. He's going to try to like flash W or some nonsense. I missed my R, which is kind of tragic. Thank goodness I didn't die. My boots kind of saved me there. I mean, you could even go Terminus Rush. I think Terminus is a better second or third item. I do think it makes sense against their team. They have physical and magic damage. Even though Ash doesn't really have any magic damage. If we end up with items like Wit's End on hit, Terminus on hit, magic damage. Can be an okay option for sure. I'll launch an E, see where this guy's at. It's not over there. Auto key reset. Auto W. It's probably on the grub area. Nope. I should have launched it all the way through his jungle. 
W. Ooh, wow, he's actually still top. Bro. They must be duo. Kazakh's got the shutdown. Yeah, Kaz literally just... It's not even like I'm being ganked. It's just a 1v2, man. He's he's top more than he's not, just about. It's almost like playing AD carry and the enemy support roams a lot, but he's still bot lane a lot. The good thing is Nasus didn't get the gold. Kaz also has a little less CS than Shivana. We're going to have two drags, so... I guess I can live with that. I kept launching my ease expecting him to be doing something, but no, he's just camping random bush. I learned my lesson. If I'm going to shoot E, I need to launch one kind of towards this middle area. This little rat likely to be here. I need to keep the, the lane bush warded. Yep, though, what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> the second laner is here. It's so ridiculous. I'm gonna harass Nasus. Make Kha'Zix move around. I wish Echo didn't hit that plan. I could have wasted more Kha'Zix time. Since their jungle is in top perpetually, I can't really push the wave safely. I would have to have kind of ghost and cleanse. Auto Q. I think Ka is here. Otherwise, I would chase it. I think he's baiting me. That situation literally just doesn't end well for him. Bottom line. <laughs> Guys, what did I say? He's still there. I know he is. These guys are obviously dual or something. They're willing to sacrifice the whole map for the sake of salvaging Nasus's lane. Okay, Kha'Zix finally leaves. No, he's not. He didn't leave. He's still top. Bro, he's still top. I saw him pivot. I would like to break vision. This bush is obviously warded. Maybe to see if I warded it. And that's why they put one there. I don't know. So they can see when I drop it in. I need to kind of stay away from that side. It's almost like the Nasus attack speed aspect is bugged because it's supposed to be like a 70% like attack speed slow level one. Auto Q. Got him with the W. Don't know where Kai is, so I'm a little nervous for sure. The son of a gun won't show up anywhere. Alright, whatever. I'll just reset. I can't risk dying and having them just take my turret for free. I, th I think he's still here. Like, the way he plays is perma kind of zero respect, you know? Put some respect on my name. He really plays with zero respect the way he positions. This is a stupid fight. That is so dumb. That was just so griefy. Like Kench bailed him out. I could launch R for this. Nasus is on phase rush. Oh, his phase rush. He probably thought he was against Kench top is what happened. Because I was thinking, like, phase rush is so useless against us. How is he ever going to apply it? I can force this to push into me. Okay, we see Kha'Zix's bot side. Oh my gosh. He's not top. Alright, we can push now. We can actually play better push. Since we can fleet heal off the turret. It's just we can't safely push if we don't know where their jungler is. Hey, there I get a 79 fleet heal. 79, that's completely basically blocking out his wither. I'm not going to stand on my minions because I don't want him to be able to hit me and push the wave in the same stroke. Hmm. Yeah, he's able to, dude, he's going AP. That's what's going on. I was just gonna say he's, he's doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, this is bad. Auto W auto. Auto Q auto. Launch the R. The R hits. 
Auto W Auto. That's why I love Ash, dude. Ash CC. Lockdown. We can AoE slow people with W. AoE slow people with R. It is foul. No clue why Kench is still in my can in there. My team was real worried I was trolling in champs to select. They're like, who's going to dodge? No, Ash. Ash stomps and mobile melees top laners. Permaslows plus 600 auto range. It's no joke. Since Nasus chose to play kind of more AP for trades, since he's up against a ranged matchup, he's not going to scale very well. AP Nasus tends to fall off. Let's go ahead and get this and this. Uh, actually, do I want Bork here? I think Bork might actually be better. Dang, I think we're going to miss Drag now. The whole team's dying for no reason. That stinks. Keep a hawk shot on it. I'm dying at random times for random reasons. This is such a bad fight. Run into the minions to damage them. I'll just keep pushing this through. I right, why are we fighting there? It's so bad. Our team's already dead. I need to leave. I have to get out of here. I might still die. It's just not worth staying. If they, you never know when they're gonna full monkey chase and commit. And even though, sure, I have Swifties. You know, Kha'Zix has Yomus. Wei has long range nonsense to slow me down. I'm moving 412. That's actually pretty good for Ash. 325 base movement speed. We're up CS on the Nasus. We're up uh, kills and whatnot. So, Where's my teammates here? I could hit this guy with an R. Get this guy with a W. I'm trying to bait out his hook. He's trying to get me over the wall now. Kench isn't punishing that for some reason. Get him with an R. He kind of flashes out of both. That stinks. I don't really want to take the CS. Like It would be better on me, of course, because I'm me. But since it's mid lane, we really shouldn't try to take all of it. It's bad manners. Solo queue. Down goes Ka. Very nice. So at this point, we're just waiting for the enemies to overstep. I don't want to be the first one caught, though. That would be bad. Mm, might build a chip down this turret. Take off his little support shield crap. Support item's so freaking overloaded. Auto W auto. Wow, Kench actually got it. Down goes the turret as well. That's huge. Oh, alright. I'll auto it down. And this is bad. It's just too many bodies in there. He doesn't get ghost extensions or anything. Huh. That was a weird interaction. Just too many people. I have decent damage, but not enough to do that. The game's pretty close. They're we're not tied up kills right now. I'm gonna grab me a free red buff. Once the jungler finishes her jungle item, it gives us the whole team red buff. I almost have my Bork. That'll be nice. I can go Bork into Terminus. I really like Phantom Dancer. Any item that gives above 5% movement speed feels fan freaking tastic. Phantom Dancer is one of the main ones that gives the most. Whew, it's so freaking good. A lot of movement speed. Movement speed is king when you're kiting. Auto W Auto. I don't know who's where here. 
Got him with a W. He slowed. Kent should have gone in there. I don't think he realized. Nassus is so squishy. He's screwed. Siobhan is just going to kill it. Oh, this is awkward. Got him with a W. He's not going to want to go in once he's slowed. I'm going to play this as slow as we want. I'm not worried about Nasus scaling with how he built. Malignant's Nasus. It's only good with area on Nasus or first strike. Otherwise, the phase rush it just ends up being an awkward build where it's, it's too spread out. Got my Q on. Q'd a little early there, actually. Not bad. I didn't have to commit too heavily because Ash slow is balanced. Ash's only real weakness is uh, low base movement speed at 325. You've mostly been able to mitigate that through boots option and and 2% uh, bonus movement speed side room. Oh, he knows. I could hit that with an R. That's why he moved. I didn't even realize he was that low. All right, I'll check it. Probably just baiting it. Oh wait, no, they're doing it. I'll R for that. Why are we just letting them take this? I mean, I can't do anything by myself. It's whatever. Dragon for Baron, it's not a good trade at all. If we can get Soul, then it will be fine. It's a good chance we do get Soul too. We only need one more. You can go Shivana. Doing some big boy damage. Auto WQ. Oh, this is bad. Well, Kha'Zix committed for it. If he doesn't have jump resets, Kai'Sa kills. I'm okay with that. We helped set up... We facilitated the kill on Thresh. Kha'Zix overcommitted for me. I think Kha'Zix should have gone jump reset second. Normally, like 8 out of 10 games, Kha'Zix should go W. Oh, evolution second. So on his level 11. But against heavy slow, like an, na against an Ash or a Nasus or Nunu, jump reset, kills and assists is better. Because even though I died there, how is he going to get out? He's already slowed my teammates around him. If he had jump reset, he easily lives, lives there. Phantom, or, oof, it's tough, man. I think Terminus would actually keep me alive in that situation. Having a bit of extra armor to counteract his, his uh, lethality choices. Got R ready, got my ghost, and cleanse. Could just save it for next team fight, to be honest. Boop. Got the Thresh Shield. He's trying to get me with his E. Boop. Got him with the R. <laughs> nah, I didn't get a whole lot off of it. I thought my team was going to follow up more than that. Draven with the slow. These slows are kind of hilarious when they hit Draven, though. Oh, he traded autos with me. That was not a fun trade for me. We just kind of have to come back here. Oh, this is bad. Got Draven with an auto. He finds his last one. Kench is down. Shivana didn't get enough done in dragon form, I'll tell you that. Might need life still for Draven. He's freaking fed. 10 kills. He's got more than double my kills. Nearly triple. I'm going to have to get an Executioner's, I can tell. Our team has no heal cut. He goes Echo and dies. Wow, this game's going south real quick. <sighs> His auto is like four times my auto's damage. I swear, he always has this double spinning axe. There it is, finally. Finally. 
I'm not even really getting CS anymore. I built up a lead in lane. I haven't been able to lane in a while. Hmm. I have Cleanse and Ghost. I can kill Nasus if uh, Ka isn't here. Get him with the R. Get him with the W. Alright, we'll take it. It's a little dangerous since Ka could be here. Yeah, it's a little dicey. Got Nasus Ghost for my Ghost. That's good. Still have my cleanse. He doesn't turn to wither since I outrange him, and he knows if even if he withers, I'll just cleanse it. <sighs> Pretty far off Bork. I'm gonna get executioners. I can AoE apply it with uh, physical damage, so even my W should work just fine for that application. If I hit that on Draven, because the thing is, he's just healing so much. Every auto is gonna get him like 200 health, two, three hundred. Doing a lot. Hmm. I don't have R. Way's dead. No one on our team's dead. In theory, we should win this. Right, here we go. Ooh, I stepped up a little bit too far there. <laughs> Got the Thresh Shield. Get him with the R. I mean, R and Thresh isn't great, but if it sets up the kill on him. Down goes Draven. Thresh actually lived in... Out of everyone who lived there, Thresh is the one that lived. This is Draxel for us. Kench went way too deep. Auto Q auto. Yeah, that's Soul, baby. Got him with a W. Echo should be able to finish. Nice, nice, nice. Got down a W. Oh, get him! Oh, we'll take it. <laughs> Who cares if Kyle kills us both? He should have just gone for the drag. I think he had it there if Kyle just queued it. He greeted hard for kills. He's a greedy boy. After Borkin for the Porkin. Trinity Force probably or Bloodthirster. More survivability. I mean, even GA wouldn't be bad. He's, if Kha'Zix overextends for me, he definitely dies. Generally speaking, at best he kills me and dies for him. So, If our team's already whittled down like we were, then you kind of got fortunate in that case. But like I said, we got the drags. It's extra armor. Magic resist for Shivana, five per each. So she's helps her out mainly with countering out. Things like Sork Shoes are a single lethality item. Plus we have 11% damage resist and 11% increased damage when below 50% health. Which honestly is the worst Draxel in the game for, in my opinion. But it's something. Something's better than nothing. Boop. R misses. Get Thresh with the W. You gotta turn Thresh. He's trying to flash. And uh, down he goes. I don't know where these guys are. Someone else over here. No clue where Kha'Zix is at. It's making me nervous. He is fed. Oh, it's bad. Kaisa didn't even use R. She basically just let herself die. Huh. I couldn't cut him off. I think it's dangerous just because his teammates are pulling so much. Did Echo really just R back into them? Is that a bait? Who is he baiting? Us for them. This is a bad fight. We're not even in it. Shivana doesn't have drag form, so it's really no, no reason to fight. Wow, I 
Kha'Zix ran him down. Nasus is truly committed to that magic. Ooh, he's got 354 stacks. That's pretty good. 354, 30 minute mark with how hard he got stomped and with what he's building. Hmm. Might actually lose turret here. Wish my W did a bit more damage. Launch the R for Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix dies. Draven slowed and hill-cutted. Yeah, that's big. I'll take a little bit of credit for that. Shivana dies. I do have Ghost. The thing is, ghosting for a way is tricky because he just throws a bunch of nonsense at you. Or running directly at a, a mage like that's kind of rough. Oh, that was a bad placement on his part. I'll go for the red buff. Can finally get Bork. Or Rage Blade if we really want it. Probably Bork into Rage Blade. Be a good way to round off the build. Finally, Echo gets the wave. We can kind of push for free now. Oh, I just needed one more hit. I want that is what I want. I think I can get it too. Costings are going for blue for whatever reason. Red's so much more important, it's a funny thing. That's five red buffs for our team. Alright, I just need to leave. Nice. I kind of wasted my ghost there a little bit. <laughs> Boop. Probably doing Baron right now. Yeah, a little bit. This is awkward. I don't really know what's going on here. Got him with the slow. Got Draven with an R. Nice. Down goes the Draven. Launch my E. She's running down Ka. She should have assumed he was going to keep running. She should have just held on to Fireball and ran with him. Maybe she just felt like he was faster. Yeah, Ka might steal. Ka steals, but he dies for it. I don't even know if that's really that worth for them. Just trying to click on the enemy thresh lantern. <laughs> I was like, Wait a minute, it's not working. I don't know why it lets me click on it. I guess so I can smother it. I think that's worth for our team. Two of them die for Baron. Baron's not that useful for them. We should get Elder off of it as well. Oh, of course they come this way. Is anyone going to help me? What in the world? So what just happened? My whole team said, you know what? Two of them are dead. Ashes being chased. Let her die. Like, what in the world? Uh, I granted, I was out of position, but I guess Elder's more valuable than your teammates. We'll see how that turns out. Siobhan with R should be able to do something, but took all magic damage. Wade did twice as much as Nasus. We'll go for a. I I don't know, man. I guess Bork's fine. Bork Rageblade would be big, or Trinity, or Phantom, or even Hurricane. I wouldn't mind having any of these. These are all very, very strong. I think since they're so on hit heavy, Rageblade actually does make the most sense. Only thing about it is they're not that tanky. Rageblade, more than anything, is going to help me kill just Nasus or Thresh. The rest of them are so squishy. We're not going to get many procs from it. But hey, some of my teammates have Elder. We all have Draxel. I wonder if Elder gives Siobhan an extra 5 armor, 5 magic resist, or if it's just like the normal Drax.
I forgot Siobhan was even our jungler. I thought she was our mid or something. I don't think Shivana Did Shivana gank a single time for us? I don't think she did. So unfortunate. She mainly can't bot to drags. But we know where Ka is, roughly. Shivana wants to R right into his forehead. Got him with a WR. He's lined up. Down he goes. Auto W auto. Looks like we're all on Ghost. Ghost is pretty balanced. Whoa! Siobhan is moving quick! She is moving real quick. <laughs> Ew, no! She ran out of drag form. Her E was probably in like half a second. Whoa! Kensha soloed uh, Nasus. That's nasty, dude. Ha <laughs> ha! Support Kench for the win. Told you, AP Nasus does not really scale. Buster Brown. Cha cha. Got with the W. Oh, Kais is still tanking there. I'm tanking Turk with my W. That's it. I mean, we'll take it. GG's. Let's look at graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we had almost the second most in the game, pretty close to the top. For damage taken, we were decent, self mitigated, decent, and runes decent. If you guys enjoyed this Ash video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.